Hi, my name is Timothy Lee from Kajang TV. This is my first English test drive. I couldn't record English during my test driving, so um, I re-recorded English and dubbed into the original video. So it would be unnatural, no engine sound, no exhaust sound. So please understand about it and thank you for your time in advance. And please subscribe to my channel. Hi, this is Timothy Lee from Kajan TV. And today, car is the Kia Seltos. And the Seltos is the most expectation car on this summer. This car is not the complete car because I test drive this car in mid of June. So uh, it's not perfect condition. And the uh, Seltos is positioned between Stonic and Sportage in Kia automobiles. So um, it's a small SUV and the first I've ever seen the global small SUV in Kia. It has many trims in Korean market and the test car is the highest trim called Noblesse. So it has full LED headlamps and uh, tail lamps as well. And you can see the DLL like this. It has a horizontal grill light under the engine hood and very similarly with the Sonata. Sonata has a special DRL, something like this. So um, side blinker, also LED, and uh, high beam and the low beam, fog lamps as well. And the three lamps looks very different, but it's mixed very well. And the side view, it has very firm, not like it looks like a Mojave, not like a Stonic. So um, if you compare with the Ssangyong Tivoli and the Hyundai Kona, Seltos is the biggest one between three of them. And the Seltos means Speedy plus Son of Hercules Kertos. So um, it would be means something like a um, very dynamic SUV. And in the rear view, it has chrome garnish and uh, chrome skid plate as well. And the muffler tip is just garnish, not, not real. And it has a rear spoiler as well. It would be helpful for the aerodynamic. And uh, there are many design, something like a chrome molding and the two-tone roof, roof color and test car is Noblest trim, so it had 18 inches alloy wheels, and the wheel design is nice. And you see the side angle, it has plastic wheel housing. The mirror cube is high gloss material, and the side blinker is here. When you look into the Seltos interior, it has very calm. There is a very small high gloss materials. You just can see some plastic, but it's finished very well. And the steering wheel looks like a typical Kia's one. And the dashboard and the center fascia is also nice. When you see the door handle, it's high gloss. And the door handle also finished very well. Noble Stream has super clear cluster, so it has digital display in the middle and the tachometer and speedometer is analog type and in the steering wheel has, it has many buttons the left side has infotainment buttons and around gear knob there is a special dial up here and it's first shown in the venue Hyundai venues it's called traction mode and it's mixed with the drive selector and the traction selector. When you pushed it, in the cluster shown three traction modes, echo, snow, sand, and in drive mode you can choose normal echo sport mode. And the cluster looks a little bit different for each mode. In sport mode you can see the RPM gauge, something like this other modes just the same. In each traction mode, car automatically controls the grip ESC system. So um, 
it would be changed, it would be different. And the test covers also have a head-up display, it's a panel type, and the test car has all ADAS systems for the collision avoidance assist, lane keeping assist, and blind spot collision warning, and blind spot collision avoidance assist, and safe exit assist as well. Certus has Kakawa as well. You can search via your voice, but as I mentioned, this car is not complete car, so the system is not completely installed. Kakawa would be operate like uh, something we already seen in Sonata. In the middle, you can see the air vent. It's horizontal type, but the side vent is vertical. Seltos have a full auto aircon. In auto mode, you can choose three different modes. Each mode has strong, middle, and very slow, mild air conditioner. And under the air conditioner, there is a wireless smartphone charger. So um, it is very helpful and it also optional. And there is a bar for smartphones no shaking during the driving. There is another storage compartment and the cigarette jacks, socket and the USB charger socket, socket and the USB memory port. And new style gear knob is very good for the grip and the gearbox is also finished well and it has heating seat and cooling seat and rear view camera and the rear view camera is not so best condition but it's, it's affordable and when you push the button you can see just below the car so it would be helpful when you go backward When you touch the interior materials, it looks written, but actually it's just plastic, but finished very well, so um, uh, interior feels a little bit cheaper. Materials of interior is not so good, it's affordable. And when you see door trim, it also same same feeling with the other interiors. And the door pocket is not too big, but it's okay. And the speaker is looks unique. It's finished curved, and the Seltos audio system has ambient light. So when you turn on the music, the speaker has a mood light, something like a Mini Cooper. So um. Let's just see it. But it looks just dark. I think it's just uh, pretend. In catalog it looks like this, but not like that. And it has electric parking brake and auto hold as well. And uh, it has two cup holders, different size. Under the center armrest, there is just a huge storage compartment. That's it. When you see the Seltos seat, it's good and not just for good looking, but it also supports body very well. Driver seat can adjust 10 ways by electrically. Reading lamp is LED, but the sun visor lamp is a bulb type. You can check, you can see many buttons for in the middle. It has Ubo. Ubo is a kind of call center. You can check any type of information, something like restaurant and the SOS button here and the high pass as well. Let's check Sertus trunk and rear seat. Key fob looks like this, similar with Kia Stinger, but more plain. No easy trunk. It's not electrical. It has good space. And the height are also good, so you can easily push the load into the trunk by just pushing. And under the deck, you can see another storage. And there is a speaker. You can see some link for the trunk net. Will your head go up like this? You cannot adjust height. 
and Sertos has a full flat rear seat so if you fold the rear seat it looks like this and the rear seat also is just reclining two steps and uh, the size is uh, very similar with the Tivoli, Ssangyong Tivoli so um, it would be very helpful rear passengers and when you see it just uh, differ 5 centimeters but when you go inside it feels more space lots of space headrooms is enough and when you recline the seat when you recline the seat to the backward it would be very very spaceful my height is 178 centimeters tall and the leg room is enough and the foot looms also enough and there is another storage for smartphone smartphone cable charger slot as well and there is a door pocket window glass is big enough rear quarter glass also good so when you go when you see when you look behind it would be helpful to look behind and the rear door open very widely so it would be good for rear passengers when you go in go out and the heating seat is adopted and the speaker looks unique like a front seat when you install car seat into the Seltos it looks like this the boy is 3 years old 13 kilograms in idling mode it has a little bit vibration through steering wheel and the engine room sound is not like typical diesel I think it has a very good NVH solution between engine room and cabin and the door panel as well 1.6 liters turbo diesel engine and uh, transmission is 7 speed dual clutch in normal driving mode, the steering wheel weight is very light. This car is two wheel drive systems, so um, front suspension is strut and rear suspension is torsion beam. But if you choose four wheel drive system, the suspension changed to multi-link for rear. And when you're driving, the noise from the load and the noise from outside is very small. I think it's the strength point, strength point for other competitors, something like uh, Ssangyong Tivoli and uh, Hyundai Kona. From the engine room, there is a little bit engine sound, but it's not noisy. It is good for fun driving. When I see the outside exterior, I think the Seratos is a deeply researched and developed car. It has lots of attractive things, something like a design, and during driving, it is the it is same. I think the drivability is so good when you compare the other cars, especially competitors, something like uh, Ssangyong Tivoli or Hyundai Kona. I think Seltos is first position. Engine and transmissions and uh, suspensions balance is so good. And the maximum torque is come out just between 2000 and 2250 RPMs. Very small torque band. But 70 CT is so good transmission, so it has keep engine maximum torque during driving. I couldn't expect driving feeling like this, but Seltos is more and more than my expectation. I mentioned lots of things about the suspensions, and it's very flexible. When you go hard or soft to on the load, it just smoothly absorbs some shock and some vibration some something like that when i drive stonic last year it looks good but when you look into the materials it's very cheap car but Seltos is totally different story it not looks like a cheap car small suv i think it's uh, just a mid-size suv upper class I think it's closer to Sportage, not closer to Stonic. Seltos says gasoline model as well. And in the market, maybe gasoline model is more welcomed. 
but 1.6 liter turbo diesel model also very attractive it's very quiet and smooth any moment in driving and the ADS systems keep around 30 seconds so let's see just for the test when you do not grip the steering wheel after 30 seconds it has alarm in the cluster and the sign shown when I drive K9 new K9 it shown this kind of alarm sign as well but when you just touch the steering wheel it, it begin again at once but the Certus is different Certus is when you touch the steering wheel it take a few seconds and then operate again normally speedometer is the left side and the tachometer is the right side but Certus is different speedometer is right side Tachometer is left side. Alright, today I driven Ceratus and uh, Ceratus it would be blueprint of the new Kia cars upcoming. This year's Kia will launch Mohave. When you see the Ceratus, we can expect we can expect next Kia's SUVs. For the conclusion, it is very nice cars than my expectations. The problem is the price. Certus is not cheap car. In Korean market, 1.6 gasoline turbo is start at $19,000. And the uh, highest trim Nobles, same with the test car, is start at $25,000. So when you see one of the competitor cars or when you see upper segment it would be similar price so um Certus need wise choice okay today is the first my English recording for my test driving I know it would be very unnatural and little bit annoying for my grandma or every English skills but please be patient I'll practice more and next car is Hyundai Venue please subscribe to my channels Thank you for your time and thank you.